welcome back to another hot spec versus hot flip video. Not every hot spec book crash and burn after the movie came out, okay? Um, and sometimes it has to do with the character staying, you know, in the movie, not disappear after one movie. But that's not every case, okay? When it comes down to hot spec book, it is really hard to generalize that you know every hot spec book you need to buy uh, you need to sell take your profit quickly and run that's not you know something that can be said for every single book sure there's always exception to the rule and here is one that fall into that category of exception to the rule strange tales 180 first gamora okay Gamora, not a huge A-level character. I don't even know if you can put her as a B or a C. Now that she's in a couple movies, I don't know. You guys can decide for yourself if she's a B-level or not. Does it matter? No. But Strange Tales 180, of course, got hot because she was in the movie. And then to my surprise... And I'm sure it's to many people's surprise. Take a look at the price of the 9.8 and 9.6. Surely, okay, let's let's be blunt here. For the lower grade, the mid grade, no doubt this book is dead money. Okay, if you can make if you made your money, if you made your profit in the 6.0 to the 8.0 kind of thing when the movie uh, was announced and you cash out surely you didn't leave much money on the table right take a look at the the, the table here 7.5 50 bucks okay let's take a look look at that okay yeah not pretty right not something you would brag about as far as uh, a good investment of any sort how about 8.0 Look at that, okay? Big bump, and then kind of not doing a heck of a lot, okay? How about 8.5? Same thing, look at that. Big bump, and then, eh. Wouldn't be something that you want to put your money in long term, right? But take a look at the 9.6 and 9.8. What is going on here? Right? Look at that. Yeah. Look at 9.8. And not, let's take a look at 9.6. Record breaking, right? Well, the record is, of course, you can see. 1,500. Somebody tap on that, right? Got to have it. Don't care what the market is saying. But if you take out that outlier, okay? That outlier at 1,500. The rest of the book... The price is trending up strong. How about 9.8? Look at that. Look at that 9.8, right? Just look at that. Sure, there's a pause, okay? It's always, okay? You, you hear, if you watch my videos enough, you hear me talk about a pause. Any big run up need a pause, okay? It cannot go up in a straight line. Whether it's stock market, housing market, hot comic market, Big keys, small keys, hot books. There is a period of pausing. And now it's... Look at that. Okay, so yeah. This book is not dead. It's not dead money. So if you can find raw copies out there, high grade, yeah. It's not a bad gamble, right? It's still not. And if you look at the census, and this is a big part of the reason of the census, but not the whole reason i i really don't have you know all the answer here but take a look at this for a book like this total submission is still under a thousand that's not high not high at all and take a look at the 98 it's only 40 copy it's not that common 40 is tiny okay so for the high grade nosebleed collectors out there that got to have the 9.8 to brag to show off, to feel good. Yeah. 
not that many copies. So yeah, price stays strong because demand is stronger than the available supplies. Okay, there you go. Simple, easy economic rule to follow. All right. So as you can see, Strange Tales 180 is a unique book that was a hot spec that turned out not so badly for some of the grade. Okay, some of the grade can't say that for all the grades. So if you jump on the book in the 96 and 98 area when this character first was announced, you didn't do so poorly. You didn't get burned. So that can't be said for many other books. So alright, so now we move on to the hard flip. Okay. I got this book back from CCC a couple days ago. And I had to look it up on what I paid for it because it been so I bought this two years ago. Okay, and this is just another example of what I normally go after in my constant flipping uh, that I have been doing for the past many years. I thought it's gonna be a six. It turned out to be 5.5. I went back and watched my old video where I had the book raw and predict the grade. I thought it would be a 6. It turned out to be a 5.5. Five. That's okay. It's often, you know, when I submit something, no doubt some of the books are right on. Some books slightly undergraded. Some books slightly overgraded. One level is really within the realm of expectation. Okay, it's rare. It's rare for me to see something two level off either direction. Um, so I'm not upset about the 5.5. But I went back and looked. I paid $50 for this thing. Okay, I saw it on eBay. And it was really dirty. Okay, I mean, it's hard to... I, I, I wish I shot a video before and after because this book was so bad. Dirty as heck. Um, as far as pressing, not much of the flaws that can be fixed, but as far as cleaning, the back cover require some elbow grease uh, there to get it done. Um, but it, including in the cost of slabbing, like you know, twenty eight bucks or whatever it is, I can sell this for one hundred eighty, one hundred ninety, give or take. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad flip. It's not, you know, something to, like, brag about, like, oh, you know, I double my money. What? But, yeah, it's an easy double. Put 50 bucks in my pocket, buy a dinner, you know. To me, it is very easy to see things like this all the time. And it's not a rush to slap it right away, to sell it right away, because... It's the Silver Edge DC minor key. It's always gonna be in demand. I figured the book was gonna be a five, a six. So, for fifty bucks, I said to myself, "Yeah, if it was a six, I can triple my money, literally, right?" So, why not? It's no rush to have to send to CGC right away. I can sit on it and submit when I need a book you know because usually I need you know 15 books to submit in order to drive up there and hand the book in in person so as I would put together a, a, a batch of book to CGC I was missing one book I had 14 so I dug into my file of um, books I bought to flip and there you go so for me it's much less pressure in trying to get things done quickly when I buy something like this something that I know I can make a ton of profit whenever I decide to sell sure if I slap this two years ago I'm sure I would do just as well because the book is at, th at this level of grade it's not like it's increasing value right so it's not a you know you know, if, if I needed to slap this book and sell it two years ago, I probably would have done just as well. So yeah, there you go. It's just an example of something that is a good flip. 50 bucks, 
no brainer okay if you see something mid-grade 50 bucks there is no reason to not pick it up thank you for watching bye bye